Hi everybody, Jeff at Cutter Masters. In this video we're going to show you how to set up the journeyman to do the flutes and the ends on uh, this three-quarter inch end mill. I set the motor to 10 degrees, I have a three-quarter inch collet in place. We'll put the tool in the collet. Then we're going to bring the tool rest over and put it underneath the edge of the tool so it's just in from the edge of the tool. So the so the grinding wheel grinds the tool and not the rest. Now we want to make sure that the tool rest is lined up with the, the edge of the wheel. This guarantees that you get the angle that you're, uh, that you're trying to grind. Make sure that you've got your full stroke and that the air spindle is turning freely. So we're just going to touch the primary, then we're going to set up and do the secondary. And always keep an eye to make sure you're picking up the grind in case your angle is not quite right. You should pick up the factory grind. Turn the air off, that keeps the air spinner from moving. Now we're going to set up to do the secondary. In this case, secondary is about 20 degrees. Whenever you're grinding, you always want a couple of degrees more than is recommended on the table if you're doing soft metals. Now we're going to set up, we're just going to touch up the ends. To do that you bring the collars together. This is a two flute, so you set the number two up here. You lock your indexing pin and tighten your collar. Don't need the air. Um, we're going to go all the way down to minus nine degrees. We'll do the secondary first just to make sure we have lots of clearance and then we'll touch up the primary. Make sure the tool is nice and square to the machine. Move the tool spindle so it creates a two degree dish. And you have the tool, so you rotate it towards the motor two degrees. This will give you a center clearance. Bring the motor to level for grinding the primary. This produces about a seven degree angle when the motor is level.
you have it.